In today's video, we will be going over how to create your own collection assets and manually uploading them. If you have not watched the previous videos in the collection creation playlist, link down in the description, then please make sure you do so before proceeding to this video. First things first, you're gonna have to access your collection that you wanna be editing and uploading the assets for. Go to the top right, your profile, and then click on creations, scroll down until you find your creation, and then click mint setup. You will be prompted to sign a transaction here, so just sign this to get access to your collection dashboard. After you're here, scroll down to the mint setup and click on asset creation. Please note that this video is on the manual uploading of your assets. If you're not an expert and you don't know what you're doing, then you're probably going to want to get JPEG Studio so you don't have to manually host your images on IPFS, format them with proper metadata, and generate them yourself. To learn how to use JPEG Studio, please refer to our next video in the series of the collection creation playlist and go ahead and use that as your guide to proceed through asset creation using JPEG Studio. If you have your metadata ready to go and you don't need JPEG Studio, then press proceed to upload. After this, you're gonna have to upload your JSON and the images inside the JSON must be already uploaded to IPFS. After uploading your JSON file, if everything went correctly, you should be able to scroll down to the bottom and click save. Then you will be prompted to sign a transaction to confirm ownership of your collection and then confirm that and you'll see a success message at the top if everything went well. Keep in mind to double check your metadata and all the things on each token in your collection by opening the asset preview model. Here we can see our first JPEG Hippo has successfully uploaded with the right traits and everything. Now, after we're satisfied with all our metadata and images, we can go back to our dashboard. That's it for this video on asset creation. And if you want to learn how to create your own metadata using JPEG Store's very own JPEG Studio, then continue to the next video now. Or if you want to further set up your collection by going to the mint phases, also see the playlist link down in the description for collection creation.